start okay now um okay so first of all what is algebra you know algebra usually uh, we make use of expressions uh, to find out the values of unknown okay to find out the values of unknown like um if for example we don't know uh, a, a, a a quantity and we want to find out uh, with the help of expressions okay uh, what do you mean by expressions you know these algebraic these algebraic this is called an algebraic expression what does algebraic expression mean an expression that consists of algebraic term operation symbols or brackets is known as an algebraic expression so an algebraic expression consists of, of a variable what is a variable anybody knows it's a letter variable as a letter it's that a can be used as 2 3 4 or 5 or any other number variable is a what can you repeat a variable is a letter is a letter that can be used as any other number yeah variable yes uh, 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 it it is an unknown it is an unknown number it is an unknown quantity okay and we are trying to find its value many times we are interested in finding its value and so we have to um uh, uh, you know like we have to find out its value and so uh, we have to use it in an expression i mean when we use it in an expression it helps us to find its value okay and this exp expression this is called algebraic expression and it consists of this variable and then this is what is a coefficient so when you have a variable we can assign it any letter can be any letter at all uh, from a to z can be any letter for example if it is x and i say 2x that means the value of this i don't know but uh, this has a fixed value and it is 2 okay so this is called a coefficient it is called a coefficient coefficient okay this is a term that is assigned to it okay for example in the algebraic term 3a the number 3 in front of the variable a is called the coefficient of a okay so likewise the coefficient of ab in 18 ab is 18 so this has a fixed value this value will not change but the value of a and b uh, is not known yet okay we haven't found it out but after we have found it out then so for this algebraic expression we will call it a variable why do we call it a variable because it's because its value is not known so it can be any number the number can vary i mean it can be any number okay so so an algebraic expression consists of variables it consists of coefficients and it consists of operation symbols these are called operation symbols addition sign subtraction sign multiplication division these are all operation signs so they together make this algebraic expression an algebraic expression has no equal sign okay because this is not an equation well uh, algebraic expressions when they can be converted into equations but right now we are not dealing with equations okay for this chapter okay now we have two types of expressions linear and non-linear does anybody know the difference between the two javeria have the teachers talked about this miss not my teachers no. my teachers they weren't no, uh, not at all. other things yes or is what 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 are you saying i said no not at all not at all okay this started from 4a yeah this is 4a this is the first page beta this is the first page this is 4a you know what you know what i would recommend do go through the these pages read them did did anybody read did any one of you read these pages who did i did you did did you understand hania yes okay yeah this is very easy they they are they are explaining in a very good way in this table i would recommend all of you to read this table 
Ma'am, I read. You read? Did you understand? Yes. Okay, so then, then tell me the difference between linear and non-linear expressions. Because they have explained it here. They have explained it here. Whatever they have explained, just explain me that. Okay. In linear expressions, uh, the variable is never multiplied by another variable. Okay, just simple. Okay, what is the difference? I will write it down here. In linear expression, the variable is never multiplied by another variable. Whereas in nonlinear expressions, the variable does get multiplied by another variable or even by the same variable, such as x squared. What does x squared mean? What does it mean? If I open it up, it means x what? X times 2. X times x x times x this is what it means x times x okay so that means one variable is getting multiplied by the same variable or by itself so that so whenever the variable is getting multiplied by another variable even if it is itself th that expression is not linear that is non-linear look at here look here here x is getting multiplied by this sorry here x is cube x is cube so then again, it is getting multiplied by itself. So this is again nonlinear. Here, x is getting multiplied by y. This is nonlinear. Here, x is getting divided by y. So remember, variable when gets multiplied by another variable or even by itself, or even if it gets divided by another variable. So it should not get multiplied or divided by another or, you know, by a variable. Two variables should not get multiplied or divided. If they do, that it becomes a nonlinear expression. If two variables get multiplied or divided, that is a nonlinear expression. What does the word nonlinear mean? Linear means, first of all, what does linear mean? Linear comes from the word line. That means if you plot if you solve these, if you, you know, solve these and you find out the values of X and Y using this expression, and if you plot the graph of X and Y, you will get a straight line graph. Straight line, therefore linear. And here in this case, because there is a relationship of multiplication and division, when you open them up, when you solve them, and you plot the values of x and y on the graph, you will get curves of different types, but the graph will not be a straight line. That's why this is nonlinear and this is linear. Sidra, did you understand? Yeah. What did you understand? Can you please sum it up for me? I understood that a linear expressions cannot, like a variable, cannot be multiplied by the same variable. Or even by another. Or even by another one, like x cannot multiply, get multiplied by y or itself, like x multiplied by x. Yeah, so no but two variables, no two variables can get multiplied. Easy, easy, easy way mein batati hu. If two variables get multiplied or divided, it's a non-linear expression. Simple. Say it. If two variables get multiplied, get multiplied or divided. It's a non-linear expression. Non okay, simple. But we are not talking about addition or subtraction. Okay, they can get added or subtracted. We are only talking about multiplication and division only. Okay, uh, another thing. What do you understand by 2x? What is the relationship between 2 and x? Yes. It means that 2 and x are getting multiplied. Very good. Yes, yes. 2 and x are getting multiplied. What does this mean? 2 over x. It means they are getting divided. Okay, Saad Chishti. Yes, Saad. What does this mean? 2 over x. It means they are getting divided by each other. Divided by each other. No, but 2 is getting divided by x. The numerator, okay, always gets divided by the denominator. You know numerator, denominator, right? So it's like this. Yes, okay. So you will say 2 is getting divided by x, okay. What does this mean? Yes, Aisha? 2 is getting added into Right, x. simple. And 2 minus x, 
okay okay so once we know this i have to make sure that you know this before we move on okay another thing before we start solving questions is that again the same rule will be followed baud mass remember as we did in the in the previous chapters so first of all brackets then orders to the power then a division multiplication will be dealt with together but remember division multiplication will be dealt with before addition subtraction and addition subtraction can also be dealt together but at the end after all the division and multiplication and all the brackets have been solved okay so when you have more than one type of brackets in an expression the innermost will be solved first when you have more than two to three, more than two uh, more than one type of brackets the innermost bracket should be solved first okay and you will understand as we move on now yes sabiha javeria i can see your hands raised do you do you have any question teacher my teacher told me that baud mass means b and o are for brackets open and d is for division m is for multiplication and a and s is for addition and subtraction yes beta there are many different versions of this baud mass many people interpret it in different ways it's the same thing okay it doesn't matter uh okay so let's so we will deal with linear expressions i can see we can we are dealing with linear expressions non linear will be uh, dealt with in the senior grades okay so what i have decided is that i will take the last two parts of each question so that you know we get time to solve all the questions and i think the last ones are harder so let me do the last two what do you guys suggest miss your choice or how do you find these here beta it's not my choice okay i am doing it for you okay so what is helpful for you or what you are facing trouble in you have to tell me that because this is my last class okay i'm not going to i most probably will not take any class after this okay so if there is any question that you are confused in please let me know right now i mean you know in this class so let me take the last two because this is my understanding i think uh, as you go down the last parts are the hardest ones write down an algebraic expression for each of the following statements so uh, you know they have written the um, expression in words and now they want us to convert it into a mathematical or an algebraic expression okay so let's do this last one okay by the way this is the same they have shown worked examples here and for those of you who are finding it hard can refer to this i found it here here on page 83 look at this on okay wait what was it wait where did it go yeah here see this for example this is an expression the way did it go um oh okay for example this sum of 2x and 3z sum of 2x and 3z how will you write it in a mathematical in an algebraic in the in the form of algebraic expression how will you write this sum of 2x and 3z come on come on you will write 2x then yeah. you will ri um, write the addition sign You write two x plus three z. Addition sign and then three x. Three z. Two x plus three z. Simple. 3Z. Okay. Now product of x and seven y. Yes, Javeria. X multiplied by seven y. X, x multiplied seven by x. Seven x y. Okay. Now there are some conventions that we follow. we always write the coefficient first okay we never write the variable first okay these are a few rules or conventions that we follow in algebra there is no particular reason behind it but it's just a convention that everybody follows so we write the coefficient first and we also follow the alphabetical order okay i mean if you write 7y x it's absolutely yes. correct yes yes 
Um, my sir said that we can write it in any order. Yeah, like you. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You can write it in any order, but by convention. Okay. Okay. Divide three A B by two C. Divide three A B by two C. Yes, Aisha. Three A B over two C. Yes, three A B over two C. Subtract six Q from ten Z. Yes. Yes, Javi, uh, Saad, okay. Uh, 6Q minus, sorry, Mr. Screen's blurry, I can't see the numbers. Okay, now. Now, no, can you, the, it's the do you have the book? Yes, I do. Yeah, so take out page number 83. Okay, Sabiha, you tell me. Then Z. Sorry? Then Z minus 6Q. Very good. 10Z minus 6Q. Why didn't we write 6Q minus 10Z? Because 6 is smaller than 10. Is that the reason? No, that's not the reason. Yes, Aisha? Because the letter that comes after, uh, after from comes first. Beta, because you know, pay attention to the sentence. Subtract 6Q from 10Z. You have 10Z, you are subtracting 6Q from it. So it's always that way. No, so for example, you know, if you have 4 minus 3, what does that mean? Yes, you so had 4, you, always you took to, out 3. You always right? have to write it like Small. that. You cannot write 3 minus 4. Yeah, but you know, we don't know which one is bigger and which one is a smaller uh, 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 because we don't know the value of Q and Z. They are unknowns. So you cannot say just because 6 is a smaller number than 10. So that is why it should be written uh, later. No, no. In algebra, that's not how you look. Okay. You have to pay attention to the question that is given to you. They are asking you to subtract 6Q from 10Z. So 10z is the amount and we are taking 6q out of it. Okay, and how do you write it in a mathematical expression? This is how you write it. The amount that you're taking out is written later. The total amount from which you are taking out is written first. Okay, be careful. Okay, and then you know you have to write this in the word form. So go ahead and practice. Okay, let's do this. Okay, how will you write this in the word form? Yes, Aisha? Subtract x, y from the sum of p and q. Or you can say subtract the product of x, y from the sum of p and q. Right? Okay. Good. Okay. The next one. Yes, Ishal. The next one. Can I yes, Ishal. I just joined. Yes, Sidra. Okay. You tell me. Uh, divide the sum of three and y by five very good divide the sum of three and y by five okay who will do this don't be scared of this square root sign just a square root tell me come on subtract the square of b by 2c Zalat english Zalat math <laughs> Yes, Aisha. Subtract 2C from the square of B. Yes, thank you. Subtract 2C from square root of B. Yes, okay. And please, subtract from, not subtract by. Okay? Okay. So, this for first question is similar. Exactly similar. So, let's do question, uh, this part F. Now, we have to write this in an expression form. Twice the variable P divided by the product of 5 and Q. Who will do this, Sidra? Twice the variable P divided by the product of 5 and Q. Twice the Yes, Javeria? Um, 2P divided by 5Q. Divided by the product of 5Q. Very good. Yes. 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 Okay. Twice the variable P divided by the product of 5Q. Yeah. 
it's this okay now e subtract subtract four times the positive square root of z from thrice of x ये तो बड़ा ट्विस्टेड किस्म का है ट्विस्टेड किस्म का क्वेश्चन ओके ओके इट कुड बी ओके यस इशाल यस इशाल बेटा आई कैन नॉट हियर यू एट ऑल यस साद यस प्लीज मिस थ्री थ्री एक्स वेरी गुड माइनस फोर स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ जी सब्ट्रैक्ट फोर टाइम्स द पॉजिटिव स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ जी यस सब्ट्रैक्ट फोर टाइम्स द पॉजिटिव स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ जी फ्रॉम थ्राइस ऑफ एक्स थ्राइस या सो अगेन फ्रॉम थिंग यू नो सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम thrice x so whatever you are subtracting from should come first and what you are subtracting should be written afterwards okay okay so this is easy right should i move on or you want more practice mm -hmm. sorry no i don't understand move on can you tell me again i don't understand isha is that you ishal yes Okay, what did you not understand? Was it this or the or this? This, this, this one. Square, yes. Okay. This square root one. I don't understand them. Okay, okay, okay. No, uh, don't don't worry. Okay, now first pay attention to the first operation they are talking about. Can you see all of them are starting with an operation? Add, subtract, multiply, divide, subtract. Okay. Yes. So this is subtraction. We understand that. Okay. So there is subtraction sign. Please mute yourself. Mute yourself. Okay. So they, I will put a subtraction sign. Now they are asking us to subtract something from something. So from means that this is the whole thing from which I have to subtract. the other thing out right thrice of x this is just plain english thrice means 3 times x so because i am subtracting the other thing from it therefore thrice of x will come first in the expression so thrice of x meaning 3 times x okay now what am i subtracting what am i taking out 4 times the positive square root of z the reason why they have mentioned positive is so that so that you know that z is not negative it could be negative so but they are by positive they want to indicate that the z is not negative it is positive okay the z is positive so square root you just put in the sign of the square root four times the square root of z in algebraic expression you don't write the multiplication sign between the variable and the coefficient so four times meaning you just put in the four so it's understood that four is getting multiplied to the square root of z okay okay did you understand okay question number 2 given that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to minus 4 evaluate each of the following expression so i will choose the last one okay we will so this is easy you just have to put in the values substitute the variables with their respective values okay let's do this okay so 3x can you 3x plus x over y minus y square okay now i will substitute the values okay x is 6 and y is minus 4 okay so the signs will stay the same okay 3 now the the relationship of between 3 and x is of multiplication multiplication which i can represent by a bracket okay because 
if I'm using, you know, when you have variable and coefficient, then you can just write, uh, write them next to each other. But when you have two numbers, and if you don't put a sign, then you get confused. You might take it as 36. You might, you might take this for 36. We don't want that. The 3 multiplied by 6. Okay, you can do the next one. Okay. Plus 6 over y. y is minus 4. So now it's just like, you know, um, so now minus 4. Because y is minus 4. So wherever I have y, I will substitute it by minus 4, negative 4. And this is a square. Ishal, please keep yourself muted. Do you want to ask a question? And you know what? I cannot even understand you. When you unmute yourself, I only get background noise and I cannot hear or understand you. Okay, now let's solve this. 3, three times 6 is 18. Okay, plus will get multiplied by minus. Why? Because there is bracket in between. So the relationship is of multiplication here between these two signs. And so uh, a plus when gets multiplied by minus, we get minus, minus 6 over 4. And so I will solve the bracket first. No, but doesn't this minus get multiplied by the minus inside here? What? Sorry? Right. The way you multiply this plus by this minus. Yeah, no, yeah, right. So, but there was no operation going on within the bracket, so I simply multiplied. But here it's getting squared. So I need to deal with this first, okay? So minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 is 16, positive 16. Did you understand? Yes. Because minus 1 gets multiplied by minus always gives you positive. Yeah, so 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 and also minus get, gets multiplied by minus and we get plus. So this is plus 16, okay? So now if I open this up, so this is plus, okay? So now if I open this up, it is 18 minus 6 over 4 minus 16. This is what it is, okay? Now, what did they ask us to do? Evaluate. Now, evaluate meaning I have to get the final answer okay excuse me miss i don't understand one thing yes please ask uh, at the side you mean minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 so we got plus 16 why did we change it to minus 16 over 1 yeah because like remember, yeah yeah okay so you know it was plus right so again this uh, signs got multiplied oh. okay Thank yeah so you. minus again got multiplied by plus and you got minus again Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Yes. Okay. So now you can multiply yes. the other ones by four. Yes. What my teacher did, she first uh, did 18 minus 16, and the answer she turned that into fraction, and then she did it with minus 6 out of 4. What? I didn't understand. This. See, listen, there are different ways of doing math. Okay. If your teacher is following some other method, that's absolutely fine. And, you know, it all depends upon what you are comfortable with. So if you're comfortable with her method, uh, you are free to do so. And But, you know, as long as you're getting the correct answer. Okay. By the way, I didn't understand what you just said, but whatever that method is. Okay. So this is this is how I do it. This is my method. My method is... It is easier for me if, you know, all the denominators are the same. So I try to multiply them with numbers in such a way that I get the same denominator. So in this case, what I have done is I have multiplied these two fractions by 4. So if I'm multiplying the denominator by 4, why? Why by 4? Because I want all the denominators to be same and this is 4. And I cannot add or subtract the fractions until and unless they have the same denominator. Once they have the same denominator, then I can just simply uh, subtract the numerators and that way I can get the final answer. Okay, so 4 is a 32. So if I'm multiplying uh, the denominator by some number, I have to multiply the numerator also by the same number. So 4 is a 32, 4 ones a 4, 5, 6, 7. 72 and this is 4 6 at 24 4 ones are 4 5 64 okay so now all the denominators are the same i just have to subtract 72 minus 6 is 
12 minus 6 is 6, 66, and then that minus 64. 2. Yes, so 2 over 4, which can be further simplified, 1 over 2. Is that the answer at the back? Yeah, please use a bookmark so that, you know, we don't waste yes. time in checking the yes. answer. Did we have to simplify this? Yes, remember, whether the question mentions or not, your answer should always be in the simplest possible form. Yes. Okay. Miss, why was the um, oh. 4A 2D? Okay, you, you you know what? Somebody should sit with the answers from the back because you know I don't. Otherwise, you know I'm wasting time. Miss, I'm just gonna open my coffee book. Yes, answers. Answers. Yeah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Can can you just bookmark it? The answer is three whole one, yeah, one over two. two. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to do another part from it or should we move on? Yes, Miss. I want another. Miss, uh, can you do the B part? B? Okay. Yes, B. Okay. Sidra wants to make an attempt. So let's give her a chance. Okay. X is equal to six. Okay. I'm writing these values down so that it's easier for you. This is four. Okay. Okay. So the expression is. 5x over 3y. I need to look at the question. I cannot see the question. 5x. So you want me to do B? Yes, miss. This B, right? 5x over 3y plus x. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um... Okay, I should write. Okay. okay. So uh, the relation between 5 and x is a multiplication. So x is 6. We'll write 5 and in bracket 6. Okay. And then divided by 3 and in bracket a minus 4. Yes. Okay. And then you write the multiplication size and write uh, 6. Plus 6. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, now we will first uh, solve the fraction. Yeah. So five yeah, six the brackets. Are, yeah. So five six is thirty, and three multiplied by minus four is twelve. But because plus and minus are getting multiplied, you will get minus twelve plus six. So you will divide six by one. Yes, because no, I, we won't divide. But you know, I mean, like yeah. Whenever you have a whole one. number, it is understood that it is over one. Okay. Yes. Okay. And you'll multiply it by 12. Yeah, okay. But can we... Okay, 12 ones are... Okay. Yes. Multiplied by 12. by 12. Multiplied by 12. Okay. okay. So you'll get 30 over minus 12. Yeah. Plus a 72. 6 twos are 12. 6 ones are 6. 72 over, over 12. 12. And so now you will just add 30 plus... 72. Should we add or should we... We have to add? Are you yeah. sure? Minus 30 plus oh, 72. No, 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 no. You have to subtract. Negative 30 plus 72. You have to subtract. Yeah, because and signs are different. Yes. 20. Yes, Javeria, do you, do you have a question? Isn't it negative 12 no, no. Below, below the 30? Yeah. Yeah, no. The whole fraction is negative. See, see, whenever you have negative sign, either with the denominator or the numerator, that means the whole fraction is negative. Do you understand this? Okay. When you have a negative either with the denominator or with the, even if it was minus 30 over 12 or 30 over minus 12, meaning minus is with the whole fraction. Whatever the value of this fraction is, the whole thing will be in negative. Okay, I get it. Okay, so this will be, and what sign should come with the answer, with the final answer? It should be plus. Yes, it should be positive because we, we have the follow number. the sign of the bigger number, right? So 42 over 12. Can we be? Can yes, this be simplified? So it can be simplified by 2. Yeah, let's cancel it by 3. 3 4s three are, are 12. 3 1s are 3. 3 4s are 12. Oh, yeah. 3 1s okay. are 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. We carry 1 here. This becomes 12. 3 4s are 12. I hope you guys... Now 14 over 4 can further be uh, simplified. 14 over 4? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, 2 2s are 4. 
Yes. Two sevens are fourteen. So this is our final answer. Seven. No, 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 no. Improper fraction. Oh, sorry, sorry, not improper. Um, mixed number. Okay, so write two and three. Two three is a six plus one. one. Yes. yes. Three whole number one. Miss, how did you go into the simplest form? I'm confused. Okay, okay, yeah, I did it. Yeah. Yes. From from one here, one. from here, I'm assuming you guys is this is this correct? You know, from yes, this step, correct. from this step beyond this step, I'm assuming you guys already know. So I did not show you the exact steps. I just okay. So if you need explanation, I can do that. So I subtracted 30 till where did you understand, Ishal? Till 42 or 12. After that, I'm gonna Yeah, so I'm just simply canceling out. Do you know how to cancel? Yes. Yes. So I I, I can I cancelled by three first and then by two. You can cancel by two. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's just cancel by two. Two six are twelve. Two ones are two. Sorry, two twos are four, two ones are two. Okay, and then three twos are six, three sevens are twenty-one, right? So you'll get the same answer, seven over two. And then because this is an improper fraction, I can I converted it into mixed number. You 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 know how to do that, right? Do you know? Yes, yes, miss. If you don't know, I can explain. No, they don't know the shortcut, maybe. You know the shortcut? Well, you can, you know, divide seven, two, three is a six, and then you know the quotient becomes the whole yeah. the whole yeah. number. Yes, Remainder right. becomes the numerator and divide then get the school key divisor. Okay, whatever. That becomes the denominator. But uh, what I do is I keep the denominator the same because the denominator stays the same. Okay, when you have an improper fraction and you want you want to convert it into a mixed number, I keep the denominator the same, and then I see that what is the closest I can get to this number, which is the numerator in the table of this number. So two threes are six because two fours are eight. So eight is greater than seven. So I move back to threes are six. Three becomes my whole number. 6, 2, 3 is a 6. I subtract that from the numerator. 7 minus 6 is 1. So that becomes my numerator. So 2, 3 is a 6. One. So I basically uh, do this division. Marshall, you just teach us this. Like this way, but I prefer, yeah, thank you. I prefer the old way though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever is convenient for you. Yes. Okay. So let's move on. So this question number 3. In three, they are giving you the values of A, B, and C, and then again, they're asking you to evaluate. Same stuff. You want me to do that? You want me to do this question at least one part? Continue. Yeah. Okay, you I, can do one part. You can do D part. Or, or should we move on to question number four? Question number four. Yeah, move to question four because it's the same thing. Yes, it's the same thing. Simplify each of the following expressions. Okay. Now, what do they mean by simplify? Simplify ko kya matlab hai? Mean in the get the simplest form. Okay. Make it as, sim as simple as it can get. Make it to the last form. Okay. So let's. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Who 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 wants to? Sure. Do it? Ishal, miss. Okay, okay. Ishal. Okay, Ishal. Go ahead and do it. I'm just copying the question down. 6x. I'm doing this last part. 6x minus 20y plus 7z minus 8x plus 25y minus 11z. Did I copy the question correctly? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so yes, come on, Ishal, hurry up because we are still in on exercise 4A. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll join the light forms. Yes, we will. Yeah, so we will, uh, yeah, we will separate, we will group them, we will group similar uh, variables together. So let's. Uh, 6x let's... minus 8x. 6x minus 8x. What? 8x. Yes. Minus 20y. Yes. Plus 25y. Yes. And plus, 
Okay, mute yourself. You have a lot of background noise. Miss, I have one question. Yes? Miss, when we move the with Sorry? the variable, do we have to move the 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 minus and plus with the two? Yeah, so I was about to say, I was about to explain. Okay, so when you what what are we trying to do here is that we are grouping the variable, the like variables together because here they're all scrambled up, they're all jumbled up in the question. So we will uh, 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 organize them and we will organize the like variables together. Okay, X, X is together, Y is together, Z is together. But remember when you are doing it, you have to arrange the variables along with their coefficients as well as their signs. Because if you don't, if you miss the signs, the whole thing will get wrong. The variables are not alone. The variables are along with their coefficients as well as their signs, okay? So now this is easy, okay? Plus 6x minus 8x, Sidra? This is the background noise gone now. Minus what? Come on, come on, hurry up. 2x. Minus 2x, okay? And then now minus 20y plus 25y. Yes, Aisha? Sidra? Plus 5y. Plus 5y. Okay. And plus 7z minus 11z. Yes. Minus 3z. Minus? 3z. 3z? 4z. 8, 9, 10, 4 11. 4z. Yes. 4z. So this should be your answer. Is this the answer? Please check from the back. Yes, it is. I'm checking. Yes, okay. Now uh, let's move on. Find the sum of each. Is question number five included? Okay, find the sum of okay, find the sum of each of the following expressions. Okay. 2x plus 4y and then minus 5y. These are the two expressions, and they're asking us to find their sum. Sum means the answer to addition. So we have to add the two up. Okay, the whole thing should be added. So how should we write it, Sidra? Um, Plus minus 5y. Because this whole thing is get it, getting added to this whole thing. So okay. So is there a positive sign because there is no like sign here? Yes, so this is positive. If there is no sign, it is so positive. Positive, positive is positive positive to be positive yes you yes. add them so it becomes six 2x plus 4y so the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to get rid of this bracket so plus my gets multiplied by minus you have minus 5y okay now this is already simplified because y's are together so 2x plus 4y minus 5y what should we get sidra Come on, is the, so two x uh, mi minus y. minus y. Very good job. Yes. Why did you say minus? Because because plus minus gives you minus. Yes, plus minus gives you minus, and also uh, when the coefficient is one, we don't write it. Yeah. It's understood that whenever we don't write a coefficient, the coefficient is one. So check from the back. Is the answer two x minus y? Yes, miss. It is. It is. It is. Do you want me to do more? This last one? No, teacher. This is totally... Uh, I understand this. Okay, okay. Okay, let's move on. Is question number 8 included? M miss, yes, it is. Simplify each of the Wait. following expressions. Let me, let me check. It is. Yeah, so in this, what you have to do is uh, first open the brackets, and then you have to group the similar variables together. Okay, that's all, and then it will be simplified. So you have uh, to, it's the same thing. Yeah, you have to open the brackets first, board mass. After you have opened the brackets, then you arrange the like variables together. Okay, same way, and then it will be simplified. Okay, uh, okay, let's do this. Question number nine. Simplify each of the following expressions. Let's do this because this is in fraction. So let me do it. Question number nine, part D.
9 over 4b minus 4 over 3b. Miss, can I do this one? Yes, sure. Yeah, but do it fast. We are running out of time. Okay, so first we will multiply 3 with 4 to make the denominators the same. Very good. Also the numerator. Right. And then multiply the 4 with uh, 3 and also the 9. Okay, good. And multiply by 3 equals 27. Very good. And 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Right. 4 multiplied by 9. No, this is not uh, 9. 4, 4. Oh, yeah, four. Sorry, sorry, I got confused. Yeah. Uh, it's 16. Yeah, this is a very common mistake you guys do. My kid also do it. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, yes. Yes. Now we should minus the 27 with 16. So that would be what, 11. Better what then if you cancel, then what was the point of making the same denominator? Because when you'll cancel, the denominators will again change. That was the purpose so that we can oh. easily subtract. Okay, so please don't cancel before you subtract. Okay. Yes. So 11 so over 12. 11 over 12. B. Yeah, B. Yeah, and what will be the sign? Positive. Positive. Yes. So I think this is easy, understandable. Yeah. Okay, simplify the expression this. Find the value of the expression when P is equal to 2, Q is this and R is this. You want to do this? Simplify. Again, you have to open the brackets, okay, and arrange the variables, the like variables. And then you put in... And then you put in these values. You want me to do? Miss, there's no need to do it. Yes, okay. please. Peter, can you do it? Done for brackets. Okay, but, so it would be okay. Nice. Okay, because you know, so only 10 minutes are left. Of time. Okay, which exercise do you guys find the most difficult? 4A, 4B, 4C? 4C. 4C? I have completely understood 4C now, but 4B, I'm a bit confused on. But you okay. can go with 4C for now. Okay, express. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me see. What is 4C? Express each of the following as a fraction in its simplest form. Okay, let's do, okay, let's do this. Okay. You find 4C hard, what huh? What page was this? This is page number 101. Yes, okay. Can I do this question? What is this? This is question number one, two, three. Yes, okay. I actually did it already. Okay, I did this already. Question 4C, question number uh, three, part H. Because I think only 1, 2, and 3 are included for your exam in your study guide. So I did yes, this. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, okay. So let's go through this working. So fortunately, I've done this already. So I will just, you know, do it quick. So this is the question. Okay. And now we want to evaluate it. We want to simplify it, right? So again, no. so we will take this as simple fractions. We will consider this as simple fractions. So don't get uh, uh, um, uh, scared by these algebraic expressions in the numerator. You will deal this as a simple fraction. So you are subtracting one fraction from the other. Now the denominators are different. Ishal, please mute yourself. Uh, the de denominators are different. And so we will make them common. We will make them same by multiplying them uh, with each other. So 4 multiplied by 3. And so the numerator will also get multiplied by 3. And so, you know, same thing. Okay. Now, 4 is getting multiplied by the whole thing, which is the numerator. And 3 here is getting multiplied by the whole thing, which is the numerator. And so we get 12 as the denominator. So, so now we will just simply deal with the numerators because denominator is now common. So we don't need to worry about the denominator anymore. But we have to open and simplify the numerator just like a simple algebraic expression. So when you have a number before out of the bracket, when you have a number out of the bracket, it gets multiplied by each number 
inside the bracket along with their signs. Miss, can I ask something? Yes. And my teacher told that in the three payments to you with the question when you wrote multiply by four on the left side. I cannot understand you. I'm saying that in the It sounds like it sounds like you you sound like you're speaking from inside a cave or something. Okay, so four gets multiplied by each and every expression inside the bracket. So four times three is twelve, and this is positive, and this is positive. So signs are also getting multiplied. Okay, so four is positive because of course there's when there's no sign, it's positive. And this is also positive. So I get positive 12p. Do you understand this? Yeah. Okay. Now here the sign is negative. So plus when gets multiplied by negative, you get negative. Four twos are eight, eight q. Okay. Now I copy the rest of the stuff as it is. Then I multiply three by each one of them. Okay. Right. But okay, but remember this minus sign is with the three. Ishal, please mute yourself. Okay, so it's okay. okay, you know what? I, then I will have to mute everybody. And then you will not be able to unmute yourself. Okay, then three is getting multiplied by all, all the, um, uh, you know, numbers inside the brackets along with its negative sign. Along with its negative sign. Okay, this negative sign is with three. Okay, you can consider this negative sign to be with three. So minus 3 plus 4p, you get minus 12p. Then minus and minus gets multiplied and get becomes plus. 3 fives are 15. But why did we have plus here? Because minus, when got multiplied by minus, you got plus. So remember, this minus is with this 3 and it gets multiplied by each of these signs which are inside. Do you understand, Sidra? So minus 12p plus 15q. Okay. Now, because the denominator is the same, I can express this whole thing as one single fraction. Okay. So 12p minus 8q minus 12p plus 15q. Plus 12p minus 12p get cancelled. Okay. Minus 8q plus 15q. So I just... Because the signs are different. Why do they get cancelled? Okay, because I have a, a separate, I have different signs. So I subtract, okay? I subtract 8 but, from 15 and I get positive 7Q. Because but here, if like with this fraction, like this fraction, there's no sign. Like here, there is a sign with the whole Yeah, fraction. no, but you know, when you don't have a sign, it means there is positive. So there's a positive with the whole fraction. Yes. And this Miss, negative. Why did you? Why did and you this cut negative the 12? Is three. Yes. Why did you cut the 12p? Beta, 12 minus 12 is what? Zero. So that's zero. Oh. And zero multiplied by p is zero. Miss, now can you hear me properly? Yes, yes. Now I can hear you properly. Yes. I wanted to say that in the question, when you put the brackets around 3p and minus 2q, you wrote the multiply 4 on the left side, so my teacher told you have to write it on the right side. You can write anywhere as long as you don't get confused. I get but confused. I, 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 I cannot write on the right side. You know why? Because then, you know, I get confused. But if you are not getting confused, you can do it. I find this easier. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're not getting confused, because you see, it doesn't matter. Two multiplied by three or three multiplied by two, same thing. But so one second, write you write it on the uh, on the, uh, before it because you have to in the because when you go to the next part, so you write four, then bracket and three piece. So that's why we write it that you mean you have to multiply. That's why you write it before. That's why we said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's... Miss, can we do a question of 3B before time's up? Yeah, okay. So you don't want me to do question number 2 and 1? No, miss. It's okay. What about because others? What about others? 
No, teacher. It's fine enough now. Hania, uh, you were having trouble. Uh, did you get your uh, confusions yes, cleared, sir. hopefully? It's cleared, alhamdulillah. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, Saad, what, what part did you want me to do? B? No. I was asking you if you could do 4B. The exercise, because we haven't done a question of 4B. Oh, okay. Like one question of that. Oh, okay. 4B. Oh, exercise 4B. And okay. the intermediate level, it's included. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. So, which one? Because, yeah. Um, which one? How about just do H? H? Yeah. This H. Actually, do do I because it's the hardest, so we'll be able to understand better. Ex expand and simplify each of the following expressions. Okay. This is, I'm a bit confused on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do it real quick. Thank you, Mr. Let's do this. Um, you said I, right? So yes. Nine. 2a plus 4b minus 7c minus 4b minus c minus 7 minus c minus 4b okay is this the question so yeah you know many students yes. copy the question incorrectly and so therefore they get wrong 92a plus 4b minus 7c minus 4b minus c minus 7 minus c minus 4b. Okay. Now we have to expand and simplify. So first of all, we have to open the brackets. Okay. First, we have to open the brackets. Okay. So 9 will... 9 will get multiplied by each number which is inside, okay? 9 twos are 18A, 9 fours are 36B, 9 sevens are, 9 sevens are 56, right? No. no. Nine, seven, 63. 63. Yes, my tables are deteriorating. Okay, minus 4B. Okay, no, now. There's I, a plus and minus. What? Do yeah. So yeah. So I'm. I I wrote negative. Oh yeah. Negative. Right. Minus. So minus four gets gets multiplied by plus b. So I get uh, minus four b. Minus when gets multiplied by minus, I get plus four c. Okay. Now minus gets multiplied by minus, I get plus seven c. Minus gets multiplied by minus, I get plus 7 fours at 28 B. Okay. After I have done this, I will uh, collect all the A's okay. first. So, do I have any other A? No, only 118 A. Miss, when we do the A's and B's, do we have to like do it in orders, like alphabetical order, or like can we just do it however we like? No, no, just follow the order of the question. Okay, if they if they wrote A first, you go ahead and write A first. But it's it doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. Okay, so now I will collect all the Bs. Okay, how many Bs do I have? One, two, three. So 36 B along with their signs. Remember, along with their signs. Plus 28 B. Now Cs. How many Cs do I have? One, two, three, minus sixty-three C along with the coefficient as well as the sign plus four C plus seven C. Okay. Now to double check if you have not missed on anything, what I do is I count the terms. If I have same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now eighteen A. So now I have these three Bs. Okay, plus 36 minus 4b, what should I get? So I will subtract because the signs are different. Because the signs are different, so I will subtract 32. Now 32 plus 20, now this will be plus 32, right? <coughs> because I have to uh, follow the sign of the bigger number. So plus 32 plus 28, 
will be eight, nine, four, ten. Uh, what? No. Three, four, five, six, sixteen. So minus sixteen. Not minus, yeah, beta. Because plus and plus. हाँ तो plus and plus तो plus होगा ना? Plus sixty भी. Okay, minus sixty-three plus four. What will we do here? Minus plus is minus, so sixty-three minus four. Yes, and so we will subtract. Okay, six. So we yeah. will subtract. We'll get fifty-nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, fifty-nine. Are you allowed? Are you allowed to use a calculator? So no. um no. Okay, so this is minus fifty nine because we will again follow the sign of the bigger number. So minus sixty three minus fifty nine plus seven. And now what will so we do? Minus plus is minus, so we'll minus again. So when uh, yeah, the signs are different, so we will subtract nine minus seven is two, so fifty two, and the sign of the bigger number. Okay, so this will be minus fifty two C. Is this the answer? Um, well, let me check. Yeah, check, please. So Which the, question was this? Four B six part I. 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 Second. Yes, eighteen eight plus sixty B minus fifty two C. Okay. You know, when I was a student, if I don't get an answer, if I wouldn't get an answer correct, what Miss, I which question was it? What was the question? Question Linda? number six, part I, four B. Okay. Part I, it, yes, eighteen A plus sixty B minus fifty two C. It's correct. It's correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is this question included? Advanced level. Expand and simplify each of the following expressions. Eight is included. Yes. Yes, I included. Yes, I think you want me to do this real quick. Yes, sure. Okay. Okay. Five three C minus. Okay, let me do it on a fresh page. You know, uh, when you don't get, when you get stuck on a, a math sum, you know what you should do. You should sit down with that question and explain it to somebody. Explain it to somebody, even if you don't understand yourself. Try to explain it. You know, when you explain, things come to you. Five three C minus D minus two C plus D. Okay. Now, yes, can I do it? Now, can you see there are more than one type of bracket? Yes, I know that. Thank you very much. Yes, miss. So we will solve the innermost bracket first, okay? So yes, okay. Who wants to do this? Me, Shal. Can I do it? Okay. Yes. Yeah, but please hurry up because we are already five minutes late. Yes. Okay. First, we will do the smallest bracket. C yes. So, so we will copy the rest of the expression as it is. We will copy the rest of the expression as it is. And then now, now minus two will be multiplied with c plus d, so it will be minus two. Yeah, c. so two will get multiplied by everything inside the bracket. And the minus minus two c minus two d. The 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 now the big bracket and the big and the bigger bracket. Yeah, so we got rid of the smaller bracket. So minus two got multiplied by c, and minus yeah, so two got multiplied by. d. So now we'll do minus the minus smaller bracket in this one. Copy the rest of it. It will be th three C my my uh, minus. So now we will. Yeah. Okay. So now we will solve this uh, bracket first. So plus D minus two D. This is plus D and this is minus two D. So minus two yeah. D plus D. What will we get? Minus two D plus D. Three D. Three D plus D है बेटा ये. No, one D. It will be one just D actually. Three D. Three D. Just D. First of all, बेटा, decide on the operation. The signs are different, so we will subtract. Subtract. Thank you very much. And we will use the sign of the bigger number. Three. And the bigger number has. Minus. Yes. So minus D. Minus 
d minus 2c and then we will copy d as it is okay with along with its sign okay now now, now we, we will multiply the two something. sign 3c minus 3c minus and big bracket and minus we will multiply know. these two signs yeah so now you will open this so when you so plus I must have d a question yes sad yes what is your question the d it was positive before but why did you make it negative beta this is positive d this is negative 2d but aren't we supposed to multiply it with the 3c why did we multiply uh, do some uh, uh, we are not supposed to multiply by 3c can you see there is a subtraction sign between the bracket and 3c so that means the relationship is of subtraction not multiplication okay so we're supposed to do d plus minus d a uh, plus d minus 2d okay. see beta isko ye is tarah se hai d minus 2d is what so if there's nothing before it before the bracket so we just add the similar uh, variables if nothing is before the bracket what do you mean like you have the bracket and there's not a number which you can multiply up yeah okay yeah yeah so if there is no number outside which is getting multiplied so yeah you would just uh, deal with the variables inside i mean you deal with the bracket inside on its own you're not multiplying oh, okay miss thank you yes but in this case in this step this minus sign is getting multiplied only the minus sign is getting multiplied by everything which is inside with with all the signs that are inside okay so minus and minus will get yes. multiplied we need plus d and plus 2c minus and minus and then plus 2c and now we'll put the bigger bracket yes yeah, so can we will have to do 3c plus 2c now yes and we'll get the answer as so 3c plus 2c is what 5c 5c very good good okay. job and then i will see d as it is and now 5 will get multiplied by everything which is inside i mean the so signs are simple 25c plus 5d yes 25c and this is the answer because we they they both are have the different mm, yes letters. yes okay so a check from the back is it the same answer is the answer correct which which question was it of 4b 4b question number 8 part b yes 25 yes it's correct 6 yes it's correct 25 okay so i think i have tried to you know um uh, do all the exercises and you know all all different types of questions if there is anything left you can you know ask me in the group or personally so it is included 